Welcome to FixRedirectVirus.org. In this video, I want to explain exactly what the redirect virus is and how you can remove it from your PC in the most effective and reliable way possible. Now, if you're on this page, I can tell you now that the virus that you've got isn't a normal virus. It's one of the most difficult to remove, and I found this out the hard way. My name is Richard, and I run the Fix Redirect Virus website. And basically, I created the site on the back of myself getting the infection on one of my PCs. Luckily for me, I'm a computer technician by trade, and I've got a lot of um, contacts, experience, and resources I can actually draw on to help fix these problems. And over the course of several months after getting the infection, I was able to repair, uh, completely repair the issue and develop several different techniques to really get rid of the virus in the most complete way possible. Okay, so what is the Google Redirect Virus, or the Redirect Virus as it's commonly known? Uh, well, this virus is a browser hijack object, which is BHO, or, or a Trojan horse. There are two variations. Um, many people just think there's one just one redirect virus but there's actually two different variations the TDSS Trojan horse and the just the generic redirect virus itself now both of these actually work in a very similar way which is to basically change some settings or make a file on your PC that will um, change the way Windows handles redirects online now the one of the key things with this virus is most people see it when they go on the search engines or when they search Google but it actually affects all redirections that your internet will handle and what happens is uh, when you browse the internet each day or whenever uh, Windows will continually have to redirect uh, various pages online to different pages um, basically because websites either close down or change pages or whatever and so there's actually a setting inside Windows itself which handles the different uh, requests and where it takes you to the the redirected page what these viruses do the redirect virus is actually either change the settings that handle the, re the redirect or they will create a file which injects its own little link instead of um, the link that you get redirected to so the bottom line is when you search Google or any other search engine they actually take you to their own website so google.com and will then take you on to the next site that you need. So the redirect virus will just inject its own link into that uh, redirection, and obviously you'll see the fake website that or the advertisement that you're seeing right now. Um, so that's how the virus works, uh, and unfortunately, it's extremely difficult to remove because both variations of it are um, immune to antivirus programs. Antivirus programs basically look for either a rogue file or application on your PC, and when they scan and look through your computer, that's what they're looking for. Unfortunately, the, the redirect virus doesn't put um, a, a program or a file that most antivirus programs will actually identify, and this basically means that you can't use the likes of AVG, Norton, Trend Micro, any of the top antivirus programs you can't use with this virus. It's a, just a big problem that tons and tons of people are having. To remove the infection you've got to delete the core of it, you've got to delete the files and um, the settings or the, the the options that are basically causing your computer to redirect and that's the tricky bit that most people don't know how to do. Fortunately I've worked out how to do it and I'm going to explain in this uh, in the coming slide exactly what to do so stay tuned. How to remove the redirect virus this is the, uh, the million dollar question that I'm sure thousands of people around the world will want to know and the truth is that you've got to work smarter not harder to get rid of this virus most people just think oh I've got to download a better antivirus or different anti-malware program or something like that the fact is that none of those programs will actually work for this virus um, it's a big problem and you know this is how to do it, deal with it the way to get rid of it is to deal with the actual variant that's on your system a variant of a virus is basically the type of virus that's out there. Um, I mean, many um, hackers and, and, and virus people right now will create about five or ten different variations of their infection just so that if one gets located, they've got the other, other variants to rely on to, to do the dirty work for them. And although Google Redirect or the Redirect virus doesn't have uh, ten infections or ten variations, 
It does have two, which I explained earlier as the TDSS Trojan horse or the generic virus, which I which I uh, have named, and that basically changes the settings on your system, uh, which deal with the redirects that, that the internet has and all that kind of stuff. So the bottom line is that antivirus and anti malware don't work to get rid of it. No matter which program you use, whether it's going to be something from PC Tools, Norton program, anti AVG, whatever, it, none of it works. Um, and I'm not doing this to scare you, I'm just explaining that it's not worth the time or effort or money in some cases to actually go out and get different software to deal with the infection. Now, the way to actually get rid of it uh, is to basically work through the, the processes that are actually going to remove the variation that you have on your system. Now, um, the way to do this is to basically uh, either work out which variant you have and then use the correct way to get rid of it, or to go through the entire um, catalogue of processes to remove the virus and with the hope that one of them will actually get the infection off your PC. Um, and it's the latter that I've just suggested, which I recommend you use because that way you can actually ensure that your system is the most clean um, of all the types of the redirect virus you can get. The bottom line is you've got to find the central root of the virus, which is either going to be a setting or some obscure file that no antivirus is going to find, and then you've got to get rid of it. And that's exactly what I want to show you on this website. I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of the virus.